That's that with Digimon, Sun and Moon. <laughs> no, Digimon World, Dusk and Dawn. They were old games. But he was being talked about at E3. Yeah, it's so nice it's getting a remake. Yeah, under the title, remake. Under the title Pokemon Sun and Moon. <laughs> they had a live gameplay demonstration, you know. Wait, what? What do you mean Pokemon? Digimon. No, we did change it now, it's Pokemon now. They, they've evolved. No. <laughs> We're living in your pocket now. Sorry, sorry, they, 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 they did you build into Pokemon? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> sorry, Chris, no, no, no. but no, no. Nintendo so- bought out. No, 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 no. Namco. Namco Bandai have not been bought out. Namco Bandai have not been bought out. They've brought out by Nintendo and they've changed the name of the games to Pokemon Sun and Moon. Like no, this. they have to change the name to Game Freak. <laughs> no, it's. Ban- Bankai Namco. No. See you later. Uh, excuse myself. I know. Ga- Shut up, Gallon. No, put the game start out on New Zealand, okay? No, uh, so we won't talk about the uh, the E3 news that wasn't revealed uh, of uh, doing a Wii, uh, Wii U and NX updated version of the uh, Ocarina of Time. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Let's talk about Pokemon first, though. <laughs> <laughs> they did a recap of the previous announcements. They showed off Lily, who is Kukui's assistant, who is the Pokemon professor yeah, the, of the islands. Yeah, the very weird assistant. They showed off Ha. 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 I think it was How I think it was How anyway. But um, we'll go with How. It's better than Ha. Uh, <laughs> how? No, P- how? Uh, p- besides, that's Pikachu. No, that's Ditto. The wrong. Uh, wrong uh, different kinds of. of uh, but anyway, not the point. So, how is your new friend in Alola? You're not going to get Alola lonely. No. They shot off. So Galio and Lunala are uh, emissaries of the sun and moon, respectively. I can't figure out, it's not like a uh, mentioned, uh, well, reference sun and moon in their names. You know, I get the feeling Sol Galil, the lion, might be the emissary of the moon, and Lunala will be the emissary of the sun. Of course. You know, just to mess people over. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the, probably the better way to do it. And the law that isn't connected to any of the other regions, apparently. You know, apart from the appearance of all the Gen 2 Pokemon, slash Gen 1 Pokemon that have shown up. They're uh, not connected, Gen- honest. Honestly, uh, was it Gen 2? No, Pichu was the featured in that? Yeah. And then it was Lady Bear, which yeah. was featured. Uh, yeah. And Gen 1 was obviously Pikachu was there with the Meow. And there's a slow pork as well. But uh, w- when you said it's not connected, I would assume that they mean is it's uh, you can't visit them. Yeah. Barring okay. the fact that well, Zygarde's there. Yes. <laughs> That's got to be the main point of this. this Zygarde was brought up there. Okay. Yeah. Like, Looks like Zygarde's going to have a bigger story in this one. Yeah. Yeah, I get that you want to get the story out there for it, but it's just like, well, he might. I just feel it might have been better to do with Zed and release it as, side by side with this. Possibly. Well, at least to me, it would make that makes sense. They changed the layout on the bottom screen for the command <laughs> options. You've got a Pokeball tab, and in the middle left, you've got a Pokeball tab. So you've got a Pokemon tab. No, you tap your Pokemon, yeah. catch a Pokemon. Wow. Oh, you got a bag tab in the bottom of the screen. you got a run tab. I made bad notes. Yay, bad notes. Woo. And there's a right of the screen, there's a fight tab, which I'm guessing lets you choose your moves. Yeah, yeah, it does. You've got a level 6 Pablo that has Pound, Water Gun and Growl. Well, it was only level six in a de- playable demo because he had already started the adventure. Yeah. Nice. So you got the freedom of access from. Yeah, so it's already part way through. So. Uh, yeah. You can hold down the L and R buttons now to see what the move does. Mm. Which is nice. 
and and they've also and and they've also added the added the function where you can actually see like the sat changes as well. Yeah. Yeah. So like that's that's something that, that that bit, I don't mind too much. Yeah. It's just the I'm hoping that for compare play they don't have the other option. Oh, the super fit thing. Yeah. Because it does say whether a movie is effective, super effective, or not very effective. After yeah. you've after you've tried it, so yeah, it look it looks more like a um, a discovery system. A bit like the sauna. Yeah, yeah. But I'm hoping it's not for competitive play. It's only for adventure only. Yeah, yeah. I imagine it will be because in competitive play, you're hoping to mostly most time one shot whatever you're hitting. Uh, on you'd expect most players to know what uh, the moves do yeah. in more majority of cases. Mm. And anyway, in uh, and another thing is in in competitive. Um, like if you've not seen that Pokemon or not fought against that Pokemon before, then it definitely won't because it won't have the system. So it'd be very inconsistent if they did. Yeah. Well, like you say, it's a learning system. Yeah. So if you fight something in Persona you've never fought before, you hit the river and it'll go, that's neutral, that's resisted, that's really good. So I think it's going to be that system again. Mm. Why that would be in the um, online games. They changed the Pokedex, it's first measure of all time. Yeah. They changed the Pokemon. Yeah, I don't all we're missing is Gen 3 and Gen 5. Yeah. Because we've got the Gen 6 with Zygarde. Yeah. <laughs> Not connected to any other regions though. No, honest. <laughs> I, I just got to point out, I put that out there. This wasn't at EP, but I might mention it. They showed off the Pokedex number for Pichu. It's 24. Which makes Pikachu... Gen, it's Gen, it's original generation number at twenty five. And if the alpha's there, do you know what I'm thinking in my where they might place it? In its original slot, fifty two. Have to wait and see. That happens. Yeah. So 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 what's so what's Pichu replaced then? It's not replacing anything. I'm just yeah. saying it's it. a complete new deck, so there's nothing for it to replace. Yeah. Because uh, it's for the regional decks who are on about. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. The, in the national decks it still had the same numbers it had previously okay. it's just for the regional only yeah ok I get you now yeah let's see it coincides with the regional decks from Gen 1 when I think it was 25 and it's going to be 25 again yeah how things don't change so they try Pokemon the young goose the ferret with blonde hair it's like yeah. a tiny presidential candidate from America you know what I mean Trump I'm going to call my youngest Trump mm, mm. I, uh, are you comparing Trump to a weasel no I'm comparing oh. a weasel to Trump <laughs> are you comparing a rodent to him possibly Mm. Are you comparing a Pokemon to a... Possibly. Let's move on to Picky Peck, the woodpecker Pokemon. Is that a flying grass star? No. No, this, no, is, this is like the uh, f- the other flying Pokemon you got to see through, through the uh, gameplay demo oh, they were showing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one with the cause, red. Yeah, because they, they did get some random other Pokemon, didn't they? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah I, I remember now. Yeah. And um, looking at his Pokedex, it might be a double evolution. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Because I prefer the double evolutions, on like a swell on into Taylor, was it? Uh, yeah, swell on Taylor. I think who, who and uh, into Noctowl. Yeah, because it's beyond into Fearow. Well, I'm just thinking, and like the very early ones where you like, get to come across. Yeah. Uh, because you generally you just pick them up as your early. Flying Pokemon to use as potential flyers later. Yeah. So I prefer those three stage flyers. So that way they can remain relevant for longer. At least that's how I've always looked at them. Yeah. And they showed off some other information in Cinder.com during the event. They showed off Grudin, the bug type. And they showed off Martha, Mage Arna, 
there's the old fairy legendary. Oh the, yeah, the, yeah, that's the Billy Soul Yeah. What the pen? The Is that the Gadian? No, it's um the little one that looks like um Rock Fairy from Gen Six. Oh, I can't think. Yeah, but the one that looks like it evolves from that one. Dancy. Yeah, the steel looking version of Dancy. That's oh, Mejana. Oh, sorry, you're right. Mejana, right. Yeah. I'm deeply really soul heart. Not a reference to gold and silver, honest. I have no idea what you're talking about. There has never been a remake using those uh, components attached to the uh, gold and silver. The trailer battles are now indicated by a black bar appearing on the top and bottom of the screen like going off cinematic when you get closer to a trainer the screen changes slightly yeah it's, so if you want to avoid a, a trainer battle it gives you an, uh, an opportunity to a visual yeah a visual representation of that is about yeah. to happen but they battle they battle the last and she's on a canopy yeah another gem one alright yep <laughs> <laughs> then it moves on to the festival battle, which is near the beginning of the game, and yeah. the Pikachu can be seen in the background near the platform. Yeah, which I also, I did like that. What seeing that bit because it's just like you get to see well, the fact that you have spectators in the fight, not just the the trainers being involved. Yeah. So it really. So yeah, it looks good. What depth? Yeah. Um, yeah, Pal How sent out a Pikachu. And then he sent out a litten. Mm. So that probably means you picked the Pablio. Yeah, you picked the Pablio, yeah. Then you throw off the Battle Royale. A four way battle with three Pokemon per player. When a player loses all their Pokemon, the battle ends. The player who beat the most Pokemon and who has the most Pokemon left at the end is the winner. Mm. So it's not a. It's not a continuous knockout until one person left. Yeah. It's going to be a bit more strategic than that. Yeah. Uh, I know that there were already players uh, that were recording for YouTube that were trying to do a similar thing to this. Except they're using multi battle. Uh-huh. So they would actually end up in a situation where like they could attack their own teammate. Well, yeah. using moves that attack their own teammate in order to try and knock them out. But it's just nice that they're giving people like that uh, an app, the Rock Sandball uh, format to yeah. use. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. And I think we're done on Pokemon, unless anybody's got anything else they might add. Yeah, why do you keep calling it Pokemon and not Digimon? So that's me. Uh, not really. I like it.